Hello, Pile One. Welcome to my channel, Softly Get the Lovelies. This is going to be how do people really feel about you, Pile One? How do people really feel about you? Um, this is going to be for like people that know you, people in your immediate circle, people around you, you know, people that you probably see on a day to day basis or, you know, n used to see you on a day to day basis, you know, people that would know enough to gather an opinion about you you know so yeah if it's written now it could just be random people as well but yeah but let's get into this reading here as well pile one if you're interested in other topics you can watch my other readings I also have readings posted on patreon that's completely exclusive so they won't be on youtube but check that out you guys can see what's over there as well as my tiktok and yeah if you want something more personal personal readings are down below in the description box just as well as everything else lovelies peace love and my beautiful big and bullet thank you for joining me let's get into this reading so there's a lot going on in Power One. There's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of feelings, a lot of thoughts, even some gossip. There's a little bit of everything here. It's a lot of sprinkled, okay? This is given like checks mix. This is given like the chips called munchies where it's like you get a little bit of hot, you get some cheese in there, you get a little bit of a pretzel, you know, you get like a little cracker thing in there. So this is given like all variety. So this is definitely coming from different people. Um, yeah, let's get into this here. So the first thing I was noticing when I was just shuffling your deck and stuff like that, and you know, just cleansing the energy. Now, this is not gonna resonate for all, but for some of you guys, did it, and this could be coming from people that is close to you, because this does not give like this. Is, it could be people on the outside making their opinions and gathering them, but this is giving more to like people that's close to you, and it does not have to be true. It does not have to be factual. But there are certain people that could kind of feel like, for some of you guys, you can have even addictions. Or they could feel like you have toxic people, a person in your life, and they feel like that's keeping you stuck. People can feel like you have so much potential. They feel like, you know, there's so much that you can do. And this is coming from people that, again, that seem like they're close to you. And for some of you guys, if you know that you're dealing with something toxic, whether it's a toxic person in your life, toxic relative, friend, family, a lover, you know, toxic dynamic situation, environment, whatever that is, right? If you know that for sure, certain people could kind of feel like you're letting that get in the way of what you really can do, what you really can have for yourself, you know? That's just for some, we just gonna leave it at that, but that's what some people do um, currently think about you. That's how they feel. That's just for a small percentage, but you know, and I don't feel like this is coming from a place of, um, this is people that want to see you do good, you know? This is people that want to see you have the things that you want out of life. So I'm not getting that this is coming from like a negative aspect, but this is giving people that's close to you, that will know enough of you of what's going on in your life, blah, blah, blah. This is what this is giving, lovelies, okay? So we have... Thought they wasn't going to have to stand up is Not an ass can't stand me now. Okay, this was giving big glow. Okay, so for some of you guys here, you are glowing right now. Um, a lot of you guys is giving like I'm taking the center of a stage. When Glorilla popped out with her music, it was different. She had a different sound. She was just kind of different. Had her own flow of things. She had her own way, her own, her own, her own unique way she did things, you know. And she can ask me really rap at least to me she can you know she really wanted to put her pen a game she can you know even if she kind of play and just saying right you know stuff that's just catchy so that's kind of what i'm getting from y'all a little bit this is giving my i can be serious i can do this i can do that i can put my arm to something and, and it's gonna come out immaculate or i could just you know play with it a little bit you know do you know show y'all my work but y'all ain't seen nothing yet so a lot of you guys this is giving like I didn't even show you what I can all can do. Like, you didn't even get a chance to see all of that. You know what I'm saying? I was just, you know, just coming in. I'm here, I'm scoping the scenery out. You know, walking around. This is giving that TikTok. Scoping the scenery out. That's what this is giving. This is giving meatball off of TikTok. I said, so you're not even going to see me coming. You're not even going to see me come scoping the scenery out. So somebody didn't see y'all coming. Somebody did not know that you was going to, um have the attitude that you had towards the situation or towards them they did not know that you were going to feel the way that you felt this is given like i went in thinking that things were going to be one way and i got a completely different outcome i got a completely different um tone from somebody so this is what i'm seeing here let's let's get into it we got the star card here so a lot of you guys here this can even just be a situation where like Things are starting to work out for you. Things are starting to fall in line for you. And somebody, all of a sudden, kind of wants to 
pay attention to you now. They recognize you. Um, this is giving like something's been a friend of somebody all the time, but now they're acknowledging something to the point where it's like they're looking at it from a different perspective. This is what this is giving. We got the full card. This is because y'all took a new beginning. This is giving like I walked away from you. I left this old job. Um, this is given, I used to hang out with you. I, I moved on, you know, I took my energy back and started putting myself into other environments. This is giving, yeah, we used to date or we used to kick it. We used to have something with each other, but you know, I moved forward, you know, I decided to go elsewhere and see what else is out there for myself, you know, cause I wasn't, maybe what I was looking for was to get in here. This is, that's what this is given. You know, I came in, scoped the scenery out, see what I need to see. And now I'm out. This is what this is given. You know, and I feel like a lot of you guys, there's a person that wants to be back in your life, but this is somebody where it's like ever since you walked away from this, whether I'm, mean, whether this is a job, whether this is a friends, friend group, family, people in general, a lover, whatever this is, this is given like you walked away. Now you got new stuff going on for yourself. You got, you know, you didn't walk away from somebody got into different hobbies. You started, you started up a whole different project. If you was doing something a certain way, now you have your own way of doing it a different way. This is given like things have changed since I walked away or since I have not been around. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm also getting that TikTok where it's like that little girl was going back and forth with this other little girl. And then she was like some, you be doing all of this, this, and this. But when I come around, you don't be saying that. And that's if y'all know that video of the two little girls was arguing with each other, and it's like the little girl was cutting up on her. I'm just like, oh my god! But this is this is giving where it's like you was talking all back then, saying what you had to say, giving your opinions. Now that I'm got stuff going on, I'm in different plays, and you see a, a, a motherfucker doing good. Now you want to say something. This is what this is again. Some of us could be friends here. So some of y'all you could have. Um, we do have this Aquarius here, 11 house energy, you know, this definitely could be some type of friend social group for some, or just something in that, you know, or this could be like a group of people, you know, for some take a leave it doesn't, but, oh, and overall, this is given like, now you want to say something you had down that you see me, you mute now, you know what I'm saying? This is what it's given. So we're going to go in and figure out what's going on. We have the Knight of wands in reverse. Somebody was playing games. We can look at that. The Empress here. Look at that. The Ace of Cups. Somebody wants you back. The Empress. We got the Ace of Cups. Oh, the Queen of Wands. Hold on. Let me scoot these cards over so I can see what's going on. Let's get into this reading, y'all. We got the Knight of Wands in reverse. We got the Queen of Wands coming out. We got the Seven of Cups in reverse. I guess what somebody was indulging, it wasn't so sweet. Let's get into this reading here, Power One. So this is giving like... And this is giving like a love situation for some of y'all. This is not a love situation. We go get into that. But this is just giving like, I'm doing good now. Now you focusing on me. You know, I moved on from you. You know, this could have been somebody that thought that was like this big ish. So this is somebody that really thought they were like bigger than you, better than you. At least that's how they attitude came off. So be somebody that's very like dismissive. You know, somebody that's very insensitive, you know, they move very quickly. They don't really take a second to think how things may affect you, how it may affect them, whether this is whoever this person is. They just kind of know, they just do what they want to do when they want to do it, you know, and they did, they disregarded your feelings when they made certain decisions, you know. With this Empress here and this Ace of Cups, this is giving like, I'm glowing, I look good. Back then, you, you know, you was playing games, you was trying to downplay me. Now you want to offer me some type of love because I look good. This is what this is given. So y'all can have a past person that y'all could have dealt with for some type of way. Some of y'all with the seven of cups in reverse, this person could have chose other people over you. This is just giving like somebody who's kind of trying to play in a field, you know, entertaining you, entertaining other people, trying to downplay like you really wasn't special, like you really wasn't popping, whether you're a man or a woman, like you really wasn't that one. And it's like you walked away from this person. This is giving like I walked away from you. Now that I walked away and I'm shining, I'm doing good. Now you feel like you missed out, you know. And this is giving like I done went and you know smelt all the roses, you know. This rose walked away from me, so I didn't even get a chance to smell it. I'm looking back at the rose I never got or never had. So I don't know. This is what this is giving y'all. Um, this is giving like I got new stuff going on. I don't know why I'm hearing Shakespeare. Okay, we got a ten of cups here. 
for some of you, it could even be someone that you had kids with for some, and they could have made a lot of poor choices, you know, when it came to, you know, y'all and y'all union that y'all had for others. Some of you, this could even be people that's close to you, like family, where it's like, you are doing good now, and maybe there wasn't a lot of acknowledgement back then. Now it's a lot of, now that you have new stuff going on, and you have kind of took a different route, and you started putting it into your, putting your hard work. This is given like, I never was looking for your approval or your validation, but you never was given it anyways, you know? So I kind of went elsewhere, started to grow, you know, put in, put love energy into myself, and now things are starting to work out for me. And, you know, now the person that was kind of was dismissive, you know, things like that is now wanting to show some type of love because they see how something, how something is presented, how it looks. So put yourself in whatever end you're on. But this is just giving like people, a person, this is giving like a love situation slash people that's supposed to be close to you. That's what this is giving. This is giving like, oh, I looked at you as family or I, um, I thought we had a really close bond. You know, this is what this is giving y'all. So take it personally if it doesn't, but... There's definitely a lot of talk being had about you. It seems like you guys are just people been seeing something about you, they, whether you're doing work, you know, having a project career, or just having a skill that people never really acknowledge. Now it's like, I see this person. This person's really good at what they do. And it's something that was there all alone. I just feel like it was overlooked. Some of y'all, it was not even overlooked. For a lot of y'all, it was downplayed. Like, they saw it, but they was like, eh. You know, this is somebody where they could have felt like there was other things that was more. This is given like you see somebody do do something that you saw before, but in a different way. And you kind of just brush it off because it's like, I already seen that, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, but you got your own unique way and how you do things. It's given like that fire song in the playlist and you skip over it and it actually was fired the whole time. Now you can't stop listening to it. Now it's like the best pop ever. That's what it's given, you know. It's given like y'all been applying pressure, but it but it's the energy that I keep getting is just like well, you weren't anyway. So it's like I don't know. for for from a, for some of y'all, part of me feel like certain people wanted you to look for validation with them, even if it's like a lover. Like this is somebody where it's like they want it to be able to be the one that tell you that you're this or that or these people want to be the ones that said you were going to be this or that it's like i want to be the person that choose what you're going to be how you're going to be and when you're going to be it. and i want you to be able to fluctuate be flexible anytime i say bend or command or anything like that this is what people wanted and it's like you just decided to just go elsewhere you're like well you're not giving it i'm gonna get it elsewhere you know what i'm saying like it ain't it ain't nothing you know and it's like now everybody kind of focusing on you because now they're kind of realizing that, oh, you know, it's kind of focused. And this gets some of y'all, this is given like, and we're not going to go too deep in this because I do feel like it runs deep here. But this is just kind of given like um, you was focusing on other people. And let's say it's like a work situation. You was focusing on other people as far as work. You wanted to work with other people, connect with the people. I wasn't the one you wanted to connect with because maybe you felt like it was this or that. And then this person looks up and they see you in a different place. They see that your hard work has worked out for you. This is given like, oh, well, you was you all too busy fancying over other people. You really wasn't worried about me. You know, if anything, you kind of looked at me and kind of downplayed me a little bit because you didn't see my potential or what I would, could be or what you felt like I wasn't. And da, 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 da. You had your own opinion, your own perspective. You ran with it. You dealt with other people. Now you're focusing on me because I was that all alone. Now you want to offer me something because I look good, because things are looking how they always look, you know, and then it's just given like, well, you know, you saw what I was doing, or you see me, you never really acknowledged it, you know, but now you're saying something, because now you're seeing that what I've been pouring into is pouring back into me, now I want to offer you some type of praise or love, because it's going to look good on your end, you want to look, it's, it's a self thing, like, you're only doing this because you say I'm doing good, and you know, like, oh, I'm going to be the person that didn't say anything. But now you're saying something anyways, but it's like you never did before. This is what this is giving. This is just giving like that TikTok. You be talking all of this, da, 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 da. But when I come around, you don't be saying nothing. You be mute. This is what this is giving. It's giving like people that weren't trying to acknowledge you or just even downplay you, whatever that looks like. It's like now they want to kind of focus in on you. Now it's like here I am offering you something because I see your value. But it's like where was that at back then? This is what this is giving. And a lot of people, 
could feel like they made the wrong choice by not you know being arrogant towards you because we got the seven of cups in reverse right on the knight of wands in reverse so this is giving like dang i wish i would have never you know acted like that towards this person i kind of treated them like i was better than them or i definitely had an attitude or a snarky way when i came at them or i definitely was arrogant when it came to the the, the things that they were passionate about i kind of was like i would tune out this is giving this is giving people try to tune you out i'm gonna be honest so that's how people really feel about y'all this is given and this is given like that's how they were and it's given like now they really feel like they ain't somebody i really should have focused on more so that's given like a situation that's being played out you know a lot of people could have thought you were going to be in the same old same old you know somebody thought that you were going to they walked away from you you're going to remain at the place i mean again we got same old ish same different day this is people that kind of thought that you were going to be going this this could be people that thought they were going to be in this cycle this is given like I think you're always going to be this. Or I, th I never see you past this. And now you're becoming past my illusions and perspectives that I thought about you. And it's like, wow, you know, let me say something. This is what this is giving y'all. All right. We're going to move on from it. But yeah. So a lot of you guys, people really are feeling like you are being chosen. Some people can feel like you are chosen. Um, there are people that kind of feel like things are. Um, some of you, there could be somebody that feels like people are taking your side and something over theirs. We're going to see what this is about. We got the Four of Pentacles. So I'm getting mental messages. For some of y'all, people could feel like you're holding back from them. For some of y'all, this is giving like things started happening in my life. Now you want a piece of the pie. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck under this. We got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, for I'm getting mental messages. If they could resonate for some of you guys, this is giving um a situation where people could have wanted you to do what they wanted you to do and now they're kind of like easing off of you because they're starting to see that what you were trying to do is working out for you this is you ever second of movies where it's like somebody be so gun ho at going after somebody um okay i'm trying to in the movies they'd be so gun ho after going after somebody they want them to do things their way and they feel like it's their way is the only right way it could be done and then the person that ended up doing it a different way and ended up working out better than the person way that they were going to try to have this person do it. This is what this is giving. It's like you got people kind of backing off. So if you notice that people give their unsolicited opinions towards you guys and then they stop giving their unsolicited opinions, they kind of backed off. They stopped saying so much. It's because they're starting to realize that the way that you're doing things is working out for you. Some of y'all people can start feeling like you're stingy. They could feel like ever since you got something or ever since you had certain stuff, you have been being stingy. You have not been giving towards them and stuff like that. This is what I'm seeing here. Um, for some of y'all, people could kind of feel like um, you have this other side of you that you kind of hold back. So people could find this to be attractive where it's like you give like a lady in the streets, freak in the streets. You know, a man or a woman, you give off that pressure. Um, they kind of feel like there's, they know that in order for them to get close to you in that way, they would have to, it would, you, you would have to allow them. So it's almost like people could kind of want to, um, open the curtain, open the blind. That's what I'm getting. It's like, there could be certain people that wants to obtain you and, I, and obtain you. I'm getting for plenty of reasons. Um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys, you can get like a, if you, some of y'all could be online, a lot, there could be people and people that's watching you online. Um, there's a lot of people that find you to be very attractive. You know, you have like this XE X appeal about you. You guys are very alluring where you're, you're a man or a woman. So that's how people really feel about you. Um, but certain people kind of feel like it's a lip it can't touch. It's a, you know, you, 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 you get lucky if you ever got to see something like that. This is what it's given. Like, that's how the energy comes off. It's very strong. Um, so there could be certain people that kind of feel like they know it's another side of you. And they like this because it's like this mysteriousness. It's like this person that's always kind of like formal, you know, but you kind of know. It's like that. You ever seen the movies where it's like that one person that's always like in work attire or they're always in this and that. And then they kind of get dressed up or people kind of see them outside a certain way. And they're like, oh, my God, like, dang, this person fine. Like, this is what it's given. It's like you already was attracted, but it's like there's more to you than just what meets on the surface. So this is what I'm seeing here. So this is what is... um. You know how people really feel about you for some of you guys here um yeah let's get back to this with this being chosen for something i am feeling like somebody feels like um others are choosing to take your side over theirs 
that's how some um, people someone how somebody really feels they somebody feels like people agree with you over them uh, we got this nine of cups in reverse somebody could be unhappy about that they're not happy that people um with this emperor reverse somebody's unhappy that they lost control this is given like somebody was trying to sway people to agree with them but people ended up agreeing with you and now they're kind of upset about it because they're unfulfilled because they were their whole point was to try to have some type of control yeah we got the sun card here so this could be something that was revealed or this could just be something where it's like what was revealed is you know something did not work out like somebody thought it so th this could be um somebody that is upset they're upset because and how they really feel about you and it could be a fire sign or a pisces but this is going to somebody's upset at you because people decided to agree with you over them or somebody tried to agree with you over them and they don't like that and they feel like they're losing control of this situation with the sun card they feel like you're getting positive feedback looking at the king of swords in reverse and the tempers in reverse somebody motive was somebody somebody was already plotting and to do something and it backfired now they're all kind of all jumbled up inside because i don't know what to do so i don't know what this is about but this is how somebody really feels about you they feel like there was expected somebody to agree with them but they did not they agreed with you and somebody is showing how selfish or how um manipulated somebody was like somebody is being shown how manipulated they really was by trying to do something and thinking that people are going to be on their side and they were on your side so some that's how somebody really feels they feel like people have your back more than they thought um or this could just be somebody messing with you and not realizing that you have people that actually have your back so i don't know that's what i'm seeing here you know but that's how people really feel could be more than one person that feel like this where it's like this could be a situation where it's like you know like in the movies where like that one person they like get into it with that one person and the, everybody like you know it, it's like and then the rest of the movie nobody really messed with them because they already proved that they're not somebody to be messed with this is what this is giving this is giving like somebody tried to do something and people took your side now other people are kind of like oh let me not do this because this person has like a support team or a support system so i don't know but that's what's being um, how people really feel about you. Some of you guys, there could be certain people that could kind of feel like um, you are still dealing with your child's mother or father. They could feel like this is just what I'm seeing here. They feel like you're dealing with your child's mother or father still. They could feel like the same issues that you had before is the same issues that still remain. Nothing has changed. We got the Hermit here. We got the Three of Swords. We got the Page of Wands here. We got the lovers. That's how they coming out. We got the seven of cups. And we got the king of swords in reverse. Let me scoot these cards over. Oh, y'all. Queen of Wands trying to come out. So, for some of y'all, this is giving a situation where people could feel like somebody. This was, And this could be what people are pertaining to. I told you in the very beginning of the reading. But I'm going to just tell you the situation I'm seeing. This is what people are thinking. This is how they really feel about you. And some of y'all, you are still doing for child's mother or father. And the situation has been, you know, this is somebody that has put you in competition with other people. Um, this could be somebody with the lovers in reverse where it's like, you know, you and this person connection is never stable with one another because somebody always has options. And they're very manipulative here with this king of swords in reverse. And there's three of pentacles here over here as well. So this is somebody that they feel like is selfish. They're manipulative. They would, you know, manipulate you back into a situation. People could kind of feel like it's the same thing. It's the same story. It's the same song, same dance. Somebody feels like, you know, you have been heartbroken from somebody more than once. And they feel like you're not really looking deeper. You're not really trying to learn or see that somebody is not what, what you want them to be and you need to see who they who they are presenting themselves to you that's just for some somebody people could feel like you're still dealing with someone that's not good for you uh, this is coming out again some of y'all you know they could feel like you know somebody's putting you in competition with other people that's why the things or things that are passionate between y'all but it but but it never can grow because somebody's still trying to be seen by other people. They're still trying to entertain or be entertained by other people. This is what I'm seeing here. And there could be certain people that feel like you're not really learning to let go of the situation. It feel like you're still putting yourself in it. It's like the same song, same thing, same story, same poem. This is what I'm getting here. So this has to be true, but this is what I'm seeing here. 
Um, for some of y'all, people are basically saying that you are standing out from their previous partners for some of you guys. Um, for some of y'all, there could be a situation, not for all, but for some of y'all, there could be somebody that feels like somebody took your side over saying that you're better than them. Like, let me give you an example. This could be a situation where, like, somebody dated someone before or they have, you know, they, yeah, they dated someone, they've been with someone, and now there is giving, like, somebody's agreeing that you're like the best they ever had you stand up for previous partners so i don't know how we go dig into this but this is giving like i somebody that i used to date don't really consider me their best partner or, or, or somebody's considering you the best partner and i did see the ten of cups so this is for a small few but some of y'all you're like a blended family and somebody has kids by somebody, but they're not with this person anymore. But, of course, the person is still involved because they have kids with one another. Maybe the person that you're seeing now, their family is saying that you're the best partner that they ever had. And the person that they may share kids with or something like that, they may feel some type of way about that. So that's just for some, but that's how somebody really feel about you. There could be somebody family feels like you stand up for somebody else's previous partners. You're like the best that they ever been with, had, all of the above. And somebody does not like the fact that their family is viewing you like that. So, this is what I'm seeing here. If their family feels like you have other qualities or they point out certain things about you, you know, they can feel like this person was toxic. I don't know. We ain't going to get all into it, but that's what I'm seeing here. So, that could be a situation that's being had. That's how people really feel about you. So, if you are dating somebody, I am getting that their family says nice things about you. I'm not getting if anything. You're on the good side of things. So... That's what I'm seeing here. Um, people really like your personality. A lot of people tend to like you guys. Um, there could be some of you guys, there could be a lot of um, you could have a person that's kind of jealous. Like this is getting like somebody have a partner and they know their partner's like very well liked, they know their partner's attractive and have such a great personality. They know their partner is a catch and they kind of don't like the fact that everybody loves their partner, but they can't get mad about that. It's like they like it, but they hate it. So that's something that's being you know, that's how your somebody partner feels like they hate the attention that you get, but they love it at the same time. It's like, it's mine. It's mine. It says it's mine. But man, I don't like the fact that y'all trying to grab at it. But somebody is secure that they know that you're there. You got them. So that's something I ain't really got to worry about. Um, But yeah, for some of you guys here, how people really feel about you. If some of you guys, you walked away for somebody, not a regretted something because they could have did something to make you walk away. Now they're blocked here. I mean, it could have been somebody that was like trying to put the bare minimal in and you walked away because they weren't doing enough for some and they um still want you. Some of you guys could have been somebody that thought that you were using them for like material value and they kind of let that get in the way and now they miss you. So that's just for some of y'all. Um, A lot of people are basically saying that, you know, you know how to hold a conversation. A lot of you guys, people are saying that you are very attractive. I'm trying to, this is, this is giving like a, um... A Holly Berry off a of Catwoman, you know, when she was like, and Catwoman, y'all seen Catwoman when she was like, Holly Berry, she was just going to work, you know, she was just kind of like living the everyday life. She was really skilled at art. She had like this boss that was hating on her and stuff like that because she had so much potential and the boss hated that or whatever. And she would be the type of person that would unravel things. She was unraveling that the boss had the skincare routine that was tarnishing people. It was really hurting people's skin. And this, and she was the one who was uncovering it. It's like a little, I underestimated you, but you're the one that I kind of look less, that look down on. Now you're like the one that's like actually the one that's calling me out. It's like, wow, I, you, I wasn't expecting this to come from you, but wow. And then it's like she, in a movie, she went from this, playing it safe a little bit not really focused on love to being the baddest thing ever to like exuding xex appeal you know the heart intelligence was shown more smart it was just it was like a whole kind of like a 360 it was like oh wow like who knew this person had this in them so this is what people are kind of talking about when it comes to you it's giving like a cat woman where it's like people see two different sides of you it's giving like a harley quinn where it's like you see me now you don't you saw this side and then you see this version it's very attractive like people find you very attractive people like the fact that you can like dress formal but you also know how to put it on like 
it's a lot of talk about how you look you know the way that you dress is very attractive to people so that's how people really feel about you people feel like you're very um you know how to really captivate people when you have conversations with people sometimes people can feel like they can't trust you because of the way that you make the fuck they can open up to you so it's like oh i'm opening up to this person i said too much you know what i'm saying some of y'all there could be a lot of people that dislike you because a lot of people look at you as attractive a lot of people look at you as a soulmate so people there it's like a, you know you have people that dislike you because the other people want you and you have other people that want you and like for the people dislike you it's like a double-edged sword for y'all with this will of fortune for some of you guys there are also people that's gossip about you that's seeing things work out for you it's like oh i put my foot in my mouth you know i was talking out of the side of my neck it, it keep getting that we be doing all of this talking when i come around you don't be, be saying that to be mute it's giving like somebody being checked without being checked you know, I'm here checkmate. I'm also here. I don't know why I'm getting. I don't know what it's called, y'all. But it's like at the casino, and it's like that big round thing that kind of spinning around in a circle, and then like the ball has to land on it. If you know what that's called, link it down below. I don't. I don't know. I never been to the casino. But for some of y'all, there could be people that saying that if you do gamble, you heavily get a lot of wins. Others of y'all, this is giving like people could feel like you're living life on the edge and something is just working out for you it's like people feel like you took a gamble and whatever you did risk is just working out for you effortlessly and this is people from your past that feel like whatever they could not see is working out for you um for some of y'all there could be somebody that feels like somebody around them would be the type of person to kind of like go after you because with this six of cups at the bottom of the deck so this could be somebody that you grew up with or this might have been around for a long time it could be family if not family it's definitely somebody that known you for some time um just so for some of you there could be somebody that feel like you will slide into their person's dms or they feel like their person will slide into your dms we have the will of fortune here for some of you guys that's coming out again so this could be like somebody moved on for somebody i don't I'm, let me see what this is we got the eight of cups yeah somebody moved on for somebody and they walked away from someone or two it's like somebody moved on somebody walked away from somebody they moved on and somebody feels like a person we even got the nine of cups in reverse it's giving like unrequited love this is giving like some type of you know manipulation this is giving like you i walked away from somebody i moved forward you know things to work out with between me and somebody because they was causing all of illusions they really wasn't serious about me and you know this person was just being manipulated could have been somebody that was just using me for finances for some of y'all you got the ten that comes in reverse um this is giving like a situation so some of y'all this is giving a situation where somebody may somebody feel like and this is giving like somebody that's close to y'all somebody that's close to y'all feel like somebody that they used to date or somebody that they date will come towards you and try to date you we got this three of cups here and we also got this two of cups here at the at the look at that the three of cups and then look at that right after that the two of cups i want to see what's after that the five of cups and it's in a custom reverse some of y'all this could be like a family member whereas if some of y'all this could be like somebody where you you don't have like the best connection with Maybe y'all connection is kind of a little dysfunctional. Maybe it's not like the best connection. Others of y'all, this could be a situation where this is somebody that's um they may not they may not seen the best representations of family or people that's supposed to be close to them. That's what I'm getting here. But for some of y'all, this is somebody that's close to you. And some of y'all, this is if, if this person's with this person, they feel like if they were to break up, that would be a thing. So for some of y'all, there could be somebody that's close to you where like the connection with this high priestess here. I feel like some of you guys, you have been getting some type of intuitive nudge. It could be somebody that y'all hang out with or this somebody that y'all do stuff with or something like this here. There could be somebody that feels like they have an inkling or a feeling that their person would slide into your DMs or they will. This is given a situation where it's like, Instead of leaving a person, they kind of like change their whole lives to keep somebody in their life. So this could be like, I don't trust my person. So I'm kind of distancing myself away from you because I know that my partner is not be able to be trusted around you. And I kind of don't trust you because I feel like if my partner were to do something, you would too. You know, this is what I'm getting here. I, you know, I'm just calling what I see, but true, there could be a person that you're close to that feel like the person or their partner would 
go and try to date you they stop dealing with them or they feel like this person would try to come towards you and be with you if they already ended they feel like that's a possibility that they would try to do that because they felt like their partner was attracted to you or is attracted to you and this could be somebody that's acting different towards you because they feel like that this is giving like i you i used to do certain stuff not kind of this is giving like a dynamic where it's like it's, it's used to being a certain way but somebody insecurities is kind of changing the way things flow so i don't know take resident even does it but this is how somebody really feels about you they don't trust you they don't trust their partner um they know they don't trust their partner and they know their partner likes you this is giving like i know somebody i'm with like you and instead of me leaving something that's toxic that's not healthy for me i kind of ruin our connection or whatever relationship we have because i'm keeping you at distance or at bay or i'm doing this or doing that and I'm going out of my way to do all these certain things to make sure something does not happen. That's what I'm seeing, y'all. So, take her as they leave a dozen. But this is y'all reading the problem when you look long. This, I guess this was needed. But, hey, we out of here. Love you guys. Bye. Hello, Power to Walk into my channel. So, fully gifted loves. Peace, love, and light. Beautiful, bigger, and bolder to you all, Pow to. This is going to be, what? how do people really feel about you? How do people really feel about you, Pow to? Take resume, leave a dozen. This stuff's gonna have to be factual. This is just people opinions and how they feel about you. And yeah, let's get into this reading here. If you're interested in my other topics, other readings, you can join my Patreon. I'm gonna have exclusive videos on there, readings that have never been posted on YouTube. You can check that out. I also have readings on my TikTok as well. You can also check out my other videos if you want something more personal and depth. Everything is down below in the description box for personal readings as well as everything else. Let's get into this reading power too. So first of all how people really feel about y'all people feel like y'all are bad as hell whether you're a man whether you're a woman people feel like you are the epitome of attractive you have the looks you have the personality the way that you dress the way that you speak a lot of you guys been hearing that y'all smell good you like the person when you walk past you smell so good you got motherfuckers kind of like double looking back like dang who, you know who that like it's like y'all walk past my they would smell you and they would look back like dang they smell good you have people wondering like what you're wearing like I want to wear that. I need somebody around me to wear that. What you wearing? You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of, that's how people feel about you. That's how they're viewing you. That's how they, their opinions, a lot of people feel that way about you. Um, a lot of people feel like you are very attractive here. A lot of you guys, there could be people that you go as far as once they get your name, they start looking up on social media to see what you look like, you know, or just to, you know, get a glimpse of what you post on social media, what you look like in different settings, what are you into, um, so I wouldn't be shocking and surprised at that, but that's something I'm seeing here. Um, a lot of people can even want your social media. You may notice that, like, oh, well, I wish your socials or stuff like that. People may ask some things about you or just ask. This is giving like, I'll ask other people, hey, what's such and such IG? You got such and such, got, you got such and such um, TikTok or something or Snapchat or Facebook. This is giving like, do you got somebody on this and this and that? So people feel like a lot of people... It's kind of like a popular loner group. A lot of people know you by face, by name, or they may know you through other people, but they don't know you. They're not close to you. You know, they know of you. They don't know too much about you, you know. Um, a lot of people could feel like um, something that you guys are doing right now is very um, breathtaking. A lot of you guys, something that you're doing is very impressive. So some of y'all, you have some type of career that you do, some type of skills, some type of talent that you guys do. People could find that to be very impressive. They could find that to be really unique. A lot of you guys, people can really acquire in something that you're doing. So if you have a business or if you have a skill or a talent, there will be people in your path that's going to come along and really show that they're really interested in something. I'm even getting like business wise where it's like they want to work with you or they want to do something with your work or just things like that. This is what I'm seeing here. But um, yeah, so you're going to get into it. That's just the um, messages I'm getting you just off the dome here. Um, a lot of you guys here, there's also people feel like you make a lot of good decisions. People could feel like you are somebody where um, you make, they could feel like the decisions that you have made in life has brought you to where you are now. So people could feel like no matter what you've been through, no matter what ups and downs that you had, or you feel like were things that weren't going the way you wanted, people still feel like you still got to the end goal. It's like, oh, well, Power 2 doesn't have a map. We don't have a guide but you did you did a good job this is giving like you know like a parent you know how people like parents have been saying oh well you know 
you don't give a guidebook or something when you when you become a parent there's not no type of you know so but you gotta do a hell of a good job so that's something people feel like you're a good parent as well where it's like you know you didn't have everything figured out but you became a very good parent you are a very good parent you know you're somebody where people can't take that away from you you know so it's a lot of or you would make a very good parent so this is what i'm seeing here so yeah there's a lot of um people wanting to have information on you it's a lot of do you know this person's social media it's a lot of um, how do you know this person? Where do you know them from? It's a lot of when you're not around, you're the cop topic of conversation with us amongst others. So that's what, you know, how people really feel about you. This is what, you know, how people are. Um, this is how they feel about you. Um, for some of you people may feel like when they do try to get information from you, they don't get much. It's just give like a popular loan or you know me by face, know me by name, you know me through such and such, but you don't know me too well, you don't know me like that. Still mysterious to you, you want to know more, but I'm only giving you so much to work with. Every time you see me or you see me, it's like you're taken back because you keep getting different perspectives, different sides of me. And it's like, wow, you know, so people like this about you. So let's get into this reading here. Um, for some of y'all, another thing I'm seeing here for some is there is a situation. I don't know if this is you and a third party with someone. If you are, you are, you know, no judgment here. I'm just telling y'all what I'm seeing here as far as the reading. Some of y'all, this may not even be a third party that you're in, but you may be in because somebody's putting you in. This is this is not, so I don't know, put yourself on whatever shoot you're on, but somebody's questioning their partner about you. Um, somebody's trying to get information on you on social media. Um... I don't know, but this is this is giving like somebody's questioning their partner. They're trying to get information out their partner. You know, whatever this information is that they're trying to get, it's not like they're not receiving the answers that they want. You know, this person could be trying to find you on social media. Some of y'all, this person have found you on social media and they was felt like you were attracted. They're like, wow, like, you know, this person could feel like, you know, they, they don't know what there was. This is given I went and looked and found what I was looking for and they found you. And yes, I don't know. For some of y'all, this, this is either a situation that you may not know you're in. For some of y'all, this may not even be a situation that you're in at all. And some of y'all, you may very well be in a situation, but somebody definitely has did their homework on you. They definitely went and found you online. They was trying to get information out of this person. They must have got enough to kind of find you and they are seeing what you look like um for some of y'all there's given like somebody are going to counseling so i don't know if this is like a couple where it's like they're engaged i don't know if this is a married couple or this would just be a regular you know relationship but two people are getting a counseling within a relationship but it's definitely um so some of you maybe somebody told somebody that you're a friend or maybe somebody just told you you're somebody that was just an associate but somebody knows that you're not just that um this is what I'm seeing here. Somebody could very well be attracted to you. So we're just gonna go in and see what this is. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot here, but this is how somebody really feels about you. Um, you know, this is coming out. We have the full card in reverse. So somebody really wants to take a new beginning towards you. Somebody really wants to take a leap of faith towards you, but they be, could be trying to fix something that they're already in. They could be telling somebody that you're just a friend or that you're just an associate. Somebody, this person could be watching you on social media or they looked you up on social media and this person seen that they was looking you up on social media or found your page because of this person looking at your page and this person could be questioning this person and then they could have moved forward to look at your page themselves and they saw you and it was like they was took it back. They was like, dang, this is who they talking to or this is who they're looking at. It's, this person definitely is questioning this person because of how you look. And somebody could definitely want to take some type of new beginning. They want something new or they ready to go towards you. Uh, with this death card reverse here, but this is somebody that is unable to move forward because they're still having something on, in their past that they have not closed out here. So this could be a Scorpio here. This could be a Pisces. Um, we got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here. For some of you guys here, somebody may feel like they can't come towards you because they're the lack of financial situation that they're in right now. This could be an Earth sign. We got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, this person may not feel like they don't have enough to come towards you here. So this could be somebody where they look at you and it could kind of feel like you're bougie. Or this person can be looking at you and they feel like the way that you look as far as your appearance. They know they would have to up upkeep something because of the way that you present yourself um this person felt like they're very, very breathtaking they're taken back they're very impressed by seeing your social media or seeing you 
Uh, with this Ace of Wands in reverse here, this is somebody that does not want to miss out on something with you here. They see that you get a lot of attention, so they know that they'll have to come correct. Um, this could be somebody where they're in something that they don't have passion for anymore, but they're in it. This is giving like two people in a relationship and somebody's in a relationship because it's comfortable, it's familiar, but they're really not happy. And somebody could want to be focusing their attention on you right now. So there's giving like two people are in some type of counseling or something, or there's something like this here. There could be a fire or an earth sign here. It could be a Pisces. Um that or this could be a fire and earth dynamic type of couple some earth fire or pisces is is, is is whatever this is this is giving like you know this king of swords here in reverse somebody trying to manipulate the situation and trying to tell somebody that you're just a friend with the queen of swords for some it could be somebody that cut you off for some or for some of yeah, this could be somebody that was manipulating this person telling them that they there's nothing with you it's not like that or they stopped speaking to you and they didn't this is giving like they're manipulating somebody, trying to gaslight somebody to make it seem like it's not worthy what it is. You have the Ace of Swords here. This person um, is communicating to this person that they're cold towards you or something like this here. With this Eight of Pentacles here, this is somebody that could be trying to work on things and fix things, but they're unhappy. Somebody's trying to work and fix a relationship that they're truly not happy in. This person just don't want to hear their nagging, whether it's a man or a woman. So they're just giving the impression that they're working on something, but they're really not. They're not being true that they want to date you. So this is something that's being, this is how somebody really feels about you. So somebody may be going through that and they really feel this way about you. They may want something with you more than what they're leading on. They're telling somebody that you're just a friend. If you are in a third party situation, for some of you, if you're not in a third party situation, this could just be somebody that wants to come towards you, but they are in something that you're trying to fix that they're really not happy in and or this could be somebody that tried to fix it before or whatever, and these things just haven't changed they're just not happy in they you could be in it but not in it i'm here my name is bennett and i ain't in it so that's kind of what i'm getting here but we're gonna move on but that's how somebody really feels about y'all that's what's taking place um for some of you guys here how somebody really feels about you here for some of you guys is there is somebody that is impressed by something that you are doing here. We got the position reverse. This could have been somebody that was trying to block you here. This could be somebody that was trying to block you from creating. Or this would be the type of person that would try to block how you do things. So some of y'all, somebody could have, somebody is impressed for some of you guys. This is how somebody really feels about you. Somebody feel like you're very creative and they could have tried to do something to get in the way of how you do something. And they're impressed because something did not work. They kind of feel foolish. They kind of feel slight it this could be somebody that is insecure when it comes to you here um with this eight of swords in reverse here this is somebody that's seen that whatever issue was you found some type of solution here somebody could be unfulfilled because you have some type of new beginning here some of you this could be like some type of creative we have the queen of pentacles some of you this can even talk about you have some type of new um something that's going to excite you and fulfill you and it's going to bring you a lot of abundance here and somebody's watching this oh wow with the world card here so somebody's i'm here and praying on my downfall but praying on my downfall on tape I still talk show the disloyal how to boss so some of you got somebody's disloyal and you showing them what a real i'm hearing i'm hearing you want to know what a real boss is where well, you're looking at one that tiktok you want to know what a real motherfucking boss is where you're looking at one i am a boss Even that lady on tiktok if you know you know but, but this is how somebody's looking at you but some yeah somebody has been Praying on your downfall. So this is how somebody really feel about you. Somebody always seen that you're very creative. Always seen that you was outside of the box. You had your own way that you did things. You got your own little style of how you do stuff. You know, you just got riding your own boat. Riding your own wave. You know, you're not really focusing on where everybody else is going on. You be tuning people out. Really just focusing on yourself. And somebody kind of feels foolish because this is somebody that feels insecure. Um... This somebody that feels insecure. This is somebody that feels like you have something that they don't have. Um, so, yeah, this is somebody that has watched you kind of put yourself together. This is giving like somebody watching you. And, they, and as they watch you, they start to realize that whatever creativity that they were trying to block. Now, this could be a lot of things. For some of you, it could be a situation where like you're creative and you may do things a different way. You may not like to do things by the book. Somebody likes to do things by the book or they like to do things like, let's say, um, somebody feels like, oh, this is how you're supposed to be successful in life and you become successful, but in a different way. This is given that this is given like I was trying to block you 
and I feel foolish because I thought they can only be done a certain way or I thought you can only get to a certain place a certain way and whatever you are doing that I was trying to minimize or block is actually bringing you some type of security. It's actually bringing you some type of afloat. It's making you become more stable and somebody feels foolish because they low key feel insecure. They, they don't feel good enough. Um, there's something that you have this person does not possess. And this person could have been preying on your downfall. For some of this person could have thought that you were going to be unsuccessful with this world card in reverse. This person could have thought that you were going to be unfulfilled in life. This is somebody that um, looked at you as a flunk. I'm going to be honest. This person looked down on you. They thought you weren't going to be much. And this is giving like every time you have an idea or every time you bring up something that this is giving like a buzzkill type of person. This is giving like you excited about something and I'm about to say something kind of cure your buzz. This is something, body, where it's like y'all could be talking, but they always somehow reel it back to being a buzzkill. It's like these could be going good, and then they just say something that would just kill everything. Like, this is what this is giving. It's like no matter what conversation you're having with this person, whatever it is, it always goes back into a buzzkill where it comes, comes off as I'm just being a negative Nancy or I'm just... You know, this is what this is giving. So maybe this is somebody where I'm here to clock that T. That's what I'm hearing. So this could be somebody where it's like, I'm hearing, well, I'm hearing um, Black China when she was in the kitchen. She's like, I'm going to rock you or something like that. She's like, some, well, rock it. Well, rock it. And she was so serious, but she was like so classy with it. So this is, <laughs> this is some of y'all again, I'm getting like, you could be with a like kind of little bougie, you know what I'm saying? You look good. Y'all smell good. This is getting like I'm fine as one. I'm, as I age, I look fine as okay. You can't you can't play with me. The more I age, the finer I get, baby. You know, this this is like time don't go back, but I look like it did because I look good. All it is. All right, no matter how old you are, this is how people people feel like you're gonna age very gracefully. You know, you're gonna look very beautiful for a long time. You know, just they could just tell. That's something that's coming through how people really feel about you guys. Um, but yeah, this person and how to, and this could be more than one person that feel this way, but whoever this individual is, they're coming up the strongest. And yeah, this is somebody that always try to I'm hearing be don't kill my vibe, be don't kill my vibe. I can't you lie. I can feel your energy for two planets the way I got my dream. <laughs> okay, this is like some of y'all, you can already peep this person's vibe. Like you can already peep this person's energy. Like before you even have a conversation, before you interact, you kind of already like, oh, I already know. Like, this is giving like you somebody does something so much that you already know what you're gonna do. Like this is what this is giving. So if this resonates with you, this person here, um, this is somebody where it's like they thought you were going to be unsuccessful. They thought that you were going to be the one that they thought you weren't going to be happy in life. They thought you were going to be doing something that you didn't want to do. They thought if you were creative, something that you're doing is not going to work out, whatever desires you want. This is just giving somebody where it's like things are done like this and this and that and you're doing things are differently. It's unconventional and the way that you're doing things and not it's not gonna work out. I know what's best with my way is the highway and this is how you should do it because this is how it's been done. And you do something completely different in your own little way, got your own sauce going on, your own brew, you got your own seasoning mix. Some of y'all, you could be somebody that has your own seasoning, like you actually have like your own seasoning brand. I don't know, or some of y'all you could you made something that could be sold in the stores. Um for some of y'all, that's another thing. People could feel like you have something that you could really calibrate um make money off of so some of y'all could be in the food industry some of y'all don't have to be uh, but people feel like there's something that you could be making money off of that you're kind of not utilizing and it's like it's a killer like it's it's like a killer it's in the game like you got what the people want i'm here and get it people what they want it's like y'all got what the people want you got that sauce so whatever that looks like for y'all there's something that people feel like you can cal cal cultivate money off of that you're really not utilizing they, that's just how they feel okay we're gonna keep it on task but that's the message that's coming through but for some of y'all yes over this individual is that's just how they feel i mean that's just how i feel some of y'all you could be music heads i'm getting a lot of music music that's just how i feel uh nah i just might just you may that's just i'm trying oh for some of y'all i'm trying to tell y'all somebody feel like it's so many messages coming out somebody feel like whoever this third party is or whatever this is Whoever their partner is, they feel like you go mess with their man. Like they're the main. I hear, I just might, I just might fuck your man. That's just how I feel. So for some of you, this is somebody where it's like if you wanted to, you could have them. Like this is somebody that's like, oh well, if you wanted them, you could take them. Like, like 
this is giving like i don't want this person but if i wanted them i could have them that's what it's giving y'all so people could kind of feel like that's how you act where it's like people be tripping about you you don't be tripping about them but if you want to you could and it's this not even just giving about having somebody this is talking about like if i wanted to go down this road i could but i'm not so relax like this is giving like i could do this but i'm not so you should be lucky okay this is what this is giving so people could kind of feel like you got a smart mouth they could kind of feel like you know you definitely you 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 gonna stand on how you feel i'm here standing on business i'm standing on business I, i'm standing on business i'm getting so much music so many different tiktoks y'all is just like y'all are classic whoever you are pop to boy you is a class i'm hearing boy I had a time last night y'all are like a class y'all are so fun people feel like you're just so fun to be around this is giving like people can talk to you all day long they're supposed to stay for two days and just spend a night for six it's like people just y'all cool as hell like you know people i'm here i could kick my foot up here and relax and stay here for some years i was supposed to come in and just be a one and done but i think i'm gonna cook my my kick my feet up and relax this is giving y'all okay i really like this energy pop so i, I fuck with y'all 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 are g for real but anyways, yeah, so what the person is, they just, and it's crazy because I'm saying all these things about you, and it's just like somebody could be jealous of how people view y'all, because it's like, I'm supposed to be worried about this, and I keep getting sidetracked with their messages. So this is somebody where they don't like the way that you're viewed by other people. They don't like that. They don't like how other people view you. If every, other people could view you as fun, they view you as stable, view you as wife material, and they don't like the fact that other people view you like that. And this is somebody that thought that you're, you're in the world you weren't going to be somebody so i don't know but we're going to move on from this energy i'm going to just pull a couple more cards but somebody's impressed shots baffled gathered up all of the above look at that the seven of pentacles in reverse this is somebody where they could have thought that some of you if you are doing something somebody could have thought that you're going to get into something and you're going to walk away from it or you weren't going to put your all in it. this is giving like oh they're not serious or oh that's not going to work out already putting intentions on something that you didn't even do yet then you start doing this like everything that they said that was going to happen it didn't so it's like talking out of their age somebody's talking out of their ass look at the king of pentacles y'all became successful some of you got look at that the queen of pentacles the king of pentacles so for some of y'all this is somebody that don't like the fact that people like you some of y'all this person does not like the fact that you meet your match like maybe the people that you attract the people that you date um this person does not like the fact that you um have people investing in you because we got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles out here. For some of you, this can even be somebody where it's like they can already have be some. If this is like not a couple for some of y'all, I mean, not a, that's a couple. If this is not like a, um, if this person is not like has an issue with how people view you as far as dating you, this can also be somebody where they're like already successful and they may feel like you can only be successful a certain way. And then you became successful because the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, they got things in common, but they're both two different energies, you know? And it's like somebody became successful in their way, then another person became successful in their way. So this is giving like both people are successful, but two different successes came two different ways. And somebody is just jealous of the fact that this is somebody where it's like they only want to be the only person at the top. And now it's like you're at the top too. And it's like they thought, how you get at the top? You know what I'm saying? I thought you were going to get the top a certain way. And this could be somebody where they thought you couldn't do what they did. I'm here. you can't walk a mile in my shoes if you wanted to. So this is somebody where it's like, oh, I did something. You can't do what I did. And you're like, but I'm not trying to do what you did. I don't want to do what you're doing. That's for you to do. You did your job. Your job is done. Why would I want to redo something that's done? I, I've got my own stuff going on. This is what it's giving. It's like somebody, want, somebody wanted you to not be able to do what they did because they wanted to be the only one. But you did something different and you got exactly where they at or further and they're kind of like ah like you know they're freaking out so i don't know this is something i'm seeing here as well so this is how people really feel this is how a person really feels um i'm gonna just call it the signs we got we got a lot of earth out here so it could be an earth sign here as well we got um we got leo we have gemini pisces here we got gemini so this definitely could be some type of air sign or earth sign here um it could be a leo here that's the only fire energy i got out here so yeah, um, a lot of you guys hear how people really feel about you. Is a lot of people feel like they had an opportunity with you, that they did could be a water sign to feel they had an opportunity to be with you or had an opportunity with something, whether it was to work with you, to be with you. This could be a Libra here. It could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Libra here. So yeah, somebody had an opportunity with you. They didn't treat you right, and they have hidden feelings for you. So yeah, we got the 10 of 1. Somebody's burning because they got hidden feelings for you. 
um, and you refuse to give them another chance. So some of y'all, somebody that you don't want to talk to or give another chance with, want to associate with, they still got feelings for you. That's how they. That's how this person really feels. Somebody still got feelings for you after they did you wrong in some type of way. Somebody feel like you changed, you know. If you used to be open to them, you're just not receptive anymore. It's like it's something was like the last straw. And somebody's trying to hold on to something that fell apart. Somebody sees that something fell apart. There is not the same. And they're still trying to hold on to whatever it, it is. Like, let's say you like somebody. Somebody's still baking that you like them. Like, somebody treats you wrong and you used to like them. You used to be real big over them. Now it's like they still banking that you feel it. Like, oh, I hope this person really still likes me like they did back then. And then they find out that it back then, it was back then, we in a new timeline. See, time change. You got to hop on when you can. You see, somebody had to realize, like, oh, I should have hopped on when I can. Like, somebody's having a reevaluation. Like, oh, time change. Um, This is not no Janae Echo. Um, I'm here, what's up? It's been a minute since we kid that you been caught up. With them bees, I don't get it. You a star love. For some of you, this person's like, you're caught up with people now. You're caught up in the mix. Like, you're dealing with people. You have other people. Your eyes are on the people that they're like, oh, it's, it's like they they feel like you're looking. They trying to, they feel like, they think they're a recycle bin, but you took the trash out already. This is what this is given. So, I don't know. Y'all have a past person that still got deep feelings for you. That's, that's feel like you out of the way now. Like, now they're looking at you as somebody that's like, moved on dealing with other people into in different people now in the different mix you in different doors now it's like you got a whole new lingo going on they would have to yeah it's like you got a whole new creation going on for you so they would have to try to see about you they would have to you know hop on when they can some of you other person could be trying to get information from you for some of you guys i mean i mean not from you information by people about you they could be catching up if they know people that you know you know so, yeah, some of the other person could even be trying to get access to areas that you are in so they could run into you. That's just for a small few, like at least five of y'all. But that's how somebody really feels. Um, yeah. So, but let's see. What else? Because how do people really feel about my pal? We got the sun card. So, a lot of people feel like you're very positive. You bring a lot of positivity out of people. People feel like you get a lot of attention here. We got the page of one. Some of y'all people can view you as a competition. Some of y'all people can compete for your attention. So people feel like you have people that's trying to compete to be with you. They're trying, they feel like there's people that's trying to uh, compete for you to get their attention. Like people feel like you have people that's fighting for your attention. You look so good that people are trying to get, get your attention and keep it on them. Others of y'all, this can even be people feel like you're a competition. You get a lot of attention. You look good with this nine of cups in reverse and this four of wands. There could be certain people, if they are in relationships, they feel uneasy when you're around because you look good, whether you're a man or woman. You have some people that put themselves in competition with you because they feel you're the star of the show. I'm hearing it's your show, but are you really the star of the show? It's giving that. So um, that's how people really feel about you here. Um, we just eight of pentacles here in reverse. So some of y'all, people kind of feel like you're like a magnifying glass for them. People kind of look at you in your life or just situation that you've got going on and you shine light on what they don't have. Um, we're just page one. We're getting a lot of things. So some, this is, some people compete with you for their own reasons. Some people, um, we got the queen of swords in reverse. So I was about to say friendly competition, but it's, it's, it's given, I never understood what friendly competition meant. So, I mean... But this is giving like people gossiping about you because they in competition with you. They don't like you because they jealous or they dislike you. Um, for some of y'all, this is this is giving this is how people really feel. Some of y'all people gossip about you because you have what they really desire or want. That's how people really feel about you. Like it's giving like, oh, I don't like them, but I dislike them because they have something that I feel like I can't obtain or they have something that I don't have. And yeah, for some of you guys, this could, this is giving like somebody sees you in a healthy relationship and they see your partner goes above and beyond for them. And maybe they're with someone that does not put a lot of effort in because we do got this four of wands here. Some of you have somebody may dislike you because, or they may be in competition with you. This is giving like some of y'all, this is, if you are in a relationship, you could have another person that's in a relationship trying to compete with you. If some of y'all, I'm getting, um, if y'all seen half and a half men, two and a half men, some, that TV show, I don't remember that episode where it's like they both had like girlfriends or something. And it was like staying in rooms next door to each other. So they both was like faking it like they were doing it with their partner to see who was like the loudest. 
I don't know. So for some of y'all, this is this is y'all could have a couple, but it's not a couple. It's one person out of the relationship. So some of others a couple, and one of the person is jealous of your relationship. They don't like the way that your partner treats you. Their partner don't treat them like that. So they could be trying to like be in competition with your relationship. That's for a small few. All right. Uh, but some of y'all, it's just giving like I see you have something, and I'm realizing I can have more, and I'm kind of jealous of you. You know, it don't even have to be a relationship. Some of y'all could just be, oh, I'm seeing you friends with someone and I'm seeing you have a really good friendship. But then I'm looking at my friend and they don't do that, do, do them things or they they actually, they gossip about me or they do this, do that. So it's giving like misplaced anchor. So that's how people really feel about y'all. Sometimes you, you know, you bring stuff to light that people didn't even realize that was an issue. Like, oh, there's always been a good friend, but they look at you, your friendship and they're like, oh, well, was it a good friendship? You know? Or was this a good connection? Or was this a good career choice? So I don't know, but that's what I'm seeing here. So yeah, we're gonna go in just to see those. How do people really feel about my pile two? We have the page of swords in reverse. All right, let's see what's going. How do people really feel about my pile two? The lovers here. Um, for some of y'all, people could act like um this is given like I act like I don't see you when I do. So some of y'all, you can have people that's close to you that sees things that you're doing, but they act like they don't see it here for some. Um, I'm noticing this humble here. So people could be, you have some people that try to go out of their way to humble you. And this is given that people are supposed to be close to you. So some of y'all may be family or close people that's supposed to be close to you. And you may have things going on that they really don't speak about or talk about. It's because they could be trying to humble you here. They see that you're very creative. They see that you're growing. It could be like, oh, I kind of want to humble them a little bit. Look at the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Some of you guys, there could be close, people that's close to you in your immediate circle that don't that don't feel like they have enough. And they feel looking at you and they're seeing what you are creating. So they don't want to acknowledge it. So some of y'all, you have, some of y'all could be, it could be like a Libra, Virgo, Gemini. You got Gemini three times. Some of y'all, there may be a Gemini. I'm a Virgo or a Libra around you that um acts like they don't see something that you're doing, but they do. They're kind of intimidated by it because they don't feel like they're good enough. Um, for some of y'all, there could be somebody that's in some type of relationship here with somebody, and this could be somebody that is acting like they're not focusing on you when they are with this musician here. This one that wants to create something with you or already has something created with someone else. And with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the person does not feel good enough because they feel like the person is going to walk away for you. So that's for a small few of y'all. So yeah, this is this is giving like people close to y'all. And this is giving like somebody focusing on you. Closer to this might thing. We got the Eight of Wands reverse here. Let's see where this is going here. Some of y'all, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, some of y'all, somebody has emotions for you. They don't, this, this is somebody that y'all don't speak to or talk to anymore. They have emotions for you. They, they want to be expressive towards you. They find you to be extremely attractive. Um, this is how they really, this is how people really feel. People that y'all no longer speak to or talk to anymore that you used to have feelings for. They find you very attractive. So this is giving like, I don't talk to you no more. I used to have a lot of love for you. We used to be cool back then. I used to mess around with you back then, but... You know, I stopped dealing with you, stopped talking to you. Now you're kind of focusing on me and I look real good. You know, you want to be expressive towards me. You could have played me back in the day. This is what this is. Yeah, so some of y'all, you got somebody that y'all used to talk to that played y'all in back in the day. It could be a fire sign. Because you got a lot of fire. It could be a water sign here. But somebody could have played y'all back then for some. And now they looking at you. They find you to be extremely attractive. They could be very impressed with how you look. They could be watching your social media. Um, we got this Eight of Cups in reverse. For some of you, this could be somebody that's um, afraid that you moved on. Somebody could af be afraid that you... This is given... This is, like I said, this is given that... Like I said, this is given that situation where it's like, I'm kind of banking on this. You used to really like me back then. I used to really... You used to be big head over me. I used to really like... I was like the one you wanted. Or when we were in a relationship, you treated me like I was the best thing since like bread and... We're not together anymore, or we don't talk anymore. Or I don't speak to you, you don't speak to me. I see you, and I'm kind of hoping that you still feel that same way about me. Somebody's hoping that you still view them as how you viewed them before. Um, with this Ace of Wands in reverse, here, somebody felt like they missed out on some type of opportunity with you. This could be more than one person. With the Seven of Cups in reverse, somebody could have been choosing other people over you, or they could have felt like they just chose wrong in some capacity. But this is what I'm seeing, y'all. So, y'all have a person from y'all past, or somebody. That y'all don't speak to, talk to, that played y'all back then. They hoping that you still viewed in the same way. That's something that wants to come out. 
yeah bye though love y'all this is your reading and yeah if you want something more personal that's down below join my patreon for more of this but that's not on youtube and yeah